It's 620 right now. Got a nice early start. We're at two miles right now. Looks like we're gonna have really nice water today. It's like 10 knots out of the southwest. It's flat right now. Looks great. So pretty exciting fishing going on right now. We've had some large fish swimming around out there, which doesn't happen real often. Any day you can go out and get a big one, but last two days there's been some real big ones. We got that 835 two days ago. Our other boat got a 670 yesterday and there were some other big fish that came up as well. So hopefully we can go see one of those today. But yeah, we'll go out kind of same area. We've been seeing the action. It's been a little bit spread out, big fish coming up different places, but we'll go out where, where we've been. We had a 300 pounder on yesterday that we lost. Some skipjack tunas coming up, some small my mines around. We'll get out there, get in the binoculars when the sun comes up and see what we can find today. Can somebody turn that chair for me, please? Turn that chair. Woo, all right. Good job, Ed. Hey, watch the line, watch the line. Get it on the other side. You're, you're good now. We got plenty of line. We got them slowed down. We're perfect. Short corner. Woo! Well, we were headed for a bird pile. We're at 10 and a half miles right now. And I uh, actually went downstairs to get a bottle of water and short corner went off. We had the... Uh, What's that, a Satomu, right? 14 inch Satomu. And uh, got about 150, 200 pound blue on, jumping all over the place. But we got everything cleared, got them slowed down and starting to make progress here. All right guys, well, that's what we were looking for. And then when you get all cleared up then, we'll start backing down to them. So that's a blue marlin, guys. I think about 150, 200 pounds. Yeah. And what you can do, man, like I said, you go down and crank. So, yeah, down and crank, crank, whatever you feel more comfortable with. Just don't do any jerky motions. Nice and smooth down, a couple cranks, and then up with your legs. It looked about 150, 200 of me. It might be a little bigger, but. Yeah, we're hooked up. We're about five minutes in here. Got the deck clear. We got beautiful water out here. We'll start backing down, making some progress on it. So guys, we will plan on trying to release this one. Um, but we'll get them up next to the boat. We'll get a real good look at them and everything. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna start backing down towards that fish. So okay. it's, gonna, it's gonna get a little easier to reel. Just make sure you're picking up that slack. The way you got that line real tight right now is perfect. We just wanna keep it tight. That's the most important thing. All right, well, we will plan on releasing this fish if we get it up. But uh, we got a long way to go before we get him close here. So he jumped about 50 times and now he's going down deep. So we're about 10, 15 minutes here. I've just been a neutral the whole fight. He, he warms up out a little bit on the first run, but he'll probably be pretty green when he comes up here. So we'll be careful with him. pulled hook on him there right right behind the boat we had him at about 30 yards never got a great look at him after jumping but i'm guessing he was about 200 i suppose on the short corner the 14 inch satomu there yeah bummer we didn't get to see him up close but still pretty cool we're planning on releasing that guy anyhow so we'll get set back up keep fishing here all right guys let's go try to do that again now you're gonna have to uh Okay, this one popped off, unfortunately. All right, well, we just left from that marlin, went back to the same area. There was a little aqua pile that came up and a couple passed through. We got a little aqua on five, 10 pounder maybe. We had a double there, little five inch flashy blue on the center and then a little feather on the uh, 50. This one's coming up on the center, the flashy blue. Good job, a little five pound Naku there, nice. All right, we're on the board there, five pound Naku. 
We'll go back to that pile. Not huge fish, but if they keep by him, we'll spend some time there. See if we can get a few more. Thank you. All right, another little aku there. This pile's okay, but we're gonna leave it after we get this guy up. It's not buying good. There's dolphins in here, but yeah, a little aku on probably another five pounder. All right, another little guy there. We'll make one more pass through here and then we'll move on. We just got to a new aquapile here, a little nicer size. Taking a bunch of passes. But we just had one come underneath the center, five inch flash of boom. Coming up right here. Now, nice and smooth here, rod tip nice and low, okay? Wanna keep his head down in the water. Good right there. So a much bigger wow, one there. That's huge. <laughs> Beauty. That's All right. Beautiful. We'll go back to that pile because that's kind of the size we're looking for. All right, we got them there. Much better size there. Close to 20 pounds on that aqua. That was on the center of the five inch flashy boo with a Hawaiian Malolo bird in front of it. And we got everything reset and we're coming right back into that pile now. It's not biting great, but hopefully it'll start biting a little bit better. Another aqua on here, nice one. I'm in neutral, so start cranking, okay? Another nice aqua there, close to 20. That was on that same five inch flash of with the Hawaiian Malolo bird. We'll go back to that pile again there. Same lure there, five inch flash of boo, chrome head and Hawaiian Malolo bird. Pounder there, nice fish. All right, well that pile ended up falling apart, so we're gonna move on from that. We fished that for about 45 minutes, and we got three out of it, three nice ones. So we'll definitely take that. Keep moving. We're gonna go back down towards where we got our marlin bite this morning. That was in 280 fathoms. We're out in almost 500 right now. So head back down inside, go see if we can find something else. We got another aqua pile here. We just. Took some laps through, finally got a good pass. I had one eat the long rigger, the seven inch Tanigawa. We had one on there that popped off and then another one came in and ate it. So we're hooked up here, another Aku.
we got him there. We'll go back to that pile. Coming up right here should be another nice one. Here off the bridge, just a little three inch feather. They usually like that. I've been biting that real good today. That was the first one we've got on that, but that one's probably over 20. So nice fish there. That pile's heading offshore and it's time for us to turn for home here. So we're gonna turn back for home. We're gonna go right through where we had our marlin bite this morning and some of our marlin bites the last couple days. And uh, we'll see if we can have any luck coming back inside here. All right, well, we're at 11 miles now. Little flutter paw. We got a small, small my my on here. Go below your tank. Oh, we can keep him. Little my my there. He's a little bigger than I thought he was. He's still real small, but these guys want fish to eat, so he's big enough that we can get a, two small fillets off, and then they'll set back up here and point for home. All right, well, no bites after that my my there. We're just clearing lines now. Going to go into the harbor, but ended up with six of those nicer aku there. We had three different aku balls. We got three in one, I think three in the other. Six of those nicer aku, all close to 20. I think two or three smaller ones, and then uh, lost that marlin in the morning, but good action today. Those akus weren't biting great, but we got enough good passes on it. We ended up six for 10, so we'll take it. We'll get into the harbor here. We'll pull those fish out, and then we'll get some of them cut up. All right, guys, so we can get a bunch of photos on the table and then we'll you guys can pick them up hold them kind of however you want to do it 26 pounds our biggest Your pictures there, sir. They're called silver dollar fish, and then there's some little shrimp larva in there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, see how good that turned out? That's awesome. Yeah, looks great. She, she likes it. Yeah. Got a great little recipe for that. Took the 
collective 